And I'm gonna have now a 16 hour flight to Taiwan. To be honest, I'm quite scared. Like, I don't know. I had a rough time at the US Immigration Center, whatever. So I don't know how the Taiwanese are going to react to me. Like, what are they gonna do to me? Or are they gonna kick me out or something? So. Two hours later. Okay, so people, I just got here, the hotel. I'm in the seventh floor, in room 702. I, the moment I entered my room, I cannot <laughs> leave it for the past, for the next three days, four days. So I'm gonna show my room. <sighs> okay, I am ready to not be free anymore. Okay, let's go. Okay. Well, it seems fancy. Let me get my stuff. My ball. <laughs> This is my amazing bag. <laughs> okay, bye world, bye freedom. <laughs> ah, ah, there you have it. Hi. <laughs> I am so tired. So, so tired. Not enter the room with dirty stuff. Oh, let me show you the room. <gasps> yes. Water. I have no idea what this is. The tea mirror. Let's go. There's a door. Can I lock it? It's a room. I need to keep it locked so that no one will actually enter my room, but I think it's fine. This is my room. Ta-da! 
There's a thermometer, information. Let me look at the view. Huh. I guess I cannot get naked because a lot of people will see me. But anyways, hi. Uh, thank goodness I am going to shower. Okay, so apparently of all the information, there's hand sanitizer. That's good. I've already disinfected my phone and stuff. But I've got this letter. I've got this packet from my university. So it looks so bloated. But this is me after a 16 hour flight. So we actually, we don't travel the world being a Minerva student. We travel the world and we go to different country, countries as a student from a different university. Because they, they kind of like sponsor our visa. And for South Korea, it was the Sukmyung Women's University. And now it's the National Taiwan University. And so we're literally students at the National Taiwan University. It means that it, this means that we have their own ID, we have their ID, we can go to use their campus, we can go to their libraries. And so today, and for every student that wasn't that was in quarantine, they sent this cute letter of and this bag with stuff. I have no idea what this are. Dear students, I am writing to warmly welcome you to the NTU academic family. I also hope you're excited to begin your journey at National Taiwan University. We are certainly excited to have you with us. Thank you, I am excited too. NTU is a great place to explore your academic interests and experience and, and experience new cultures. We are very much looking forward to seeing you on your beautiful campus soon. Yay! I don't know what this is though. Okay, this is a card for us to just hold them if anything happens. Thank you, and you. I love when people treat us, treat other people nice. We've got kimchi. This looks this pretty good. Okay, I love kimchi. My Korean, I don't know. There's apparently Korean noodles. Ramen, minced pork flavor instant noodles. All in Chinese. It's not like I can read this, but anyways. Masks, thank goodness. Chopsticks, chopsticks. I don't even know what this are. <laughs> and lemon crackers. I hope they're good. Last but not least. What is this? It's a bag. Is it <gasps> for this chopstick? No, it's a spoon and a ch and chopstick. This is so nice. I am terrible using chopsticks, by the way. But anyways, please, I am gonna fake it until I make it. <laughs> okay, I need to read this. They asked me if I wanted breakfast, which I do because it's not actually eating breakfast. And to be honest, there are mushrooms, and I despise mushrooms, so I'm not gonna eat the mushrooms. I don't really know how to sort out trash because in South Korea it was quite. It it, it didn't really make sense. But let me show you. This is what they gave me, and it's not eight. They only gave breakfast at eight, but the woman asked me if I wanted breakfast, and I said yes. <laughs> Duck, I'm hungry. I don't know what this is. I'm not gonna eat the mushrooms, sorry. I despise mushrooms, I cannot eat mushrooms, but this seems good. And I also asked them not to give me any seafood, because I can't look at like, any fish whatsoever. Just, just don't, you know? I cannot eat seafood whatsoever. And mushrooms. By the way, I forgot to tell them. Forgot to tell her mushrooms and say no. But let me. Mmm. I know what it is, but this is really good. Oh, these are pancakes. Seems like kind of a Western breakfast kind of vibe. Perhaps this is like some rice cake, I think. It's usually not what I'm used to for breakfast. I am Brazilian, so I eat a lot of fruits. But I was in the West for the past few days and. I didn't say it out loud. I'm in love with, um, in, with Taiwan already. Like, Taiwan so far is the best country. Like, I love South Korea, but South Korea doesn't like foreigners. People in Taiwan love foreigners, so I love them back. <laughs> day two. Hey, everyone. So, today is day one. <laughs> I did my computer. Of quarantine. And I am basically dead because I arrived in Taiwan at 5 a.m. 6 a.m. actually. I got at the hotel at like 9 or 10 a.m. and I, I showered, I, I did a lot of stuff but then I just couldn't stay awake and so I went to bed like at 3 p.m. 
saying that I was gonna take a nap for two hours. It turns out I woke up at eight, and then I was like, "Fuck, I need to sleep." So I woke, I went to bed until eight, and then I woke up at two. I've been trying to sleep back, but then I couldn't, so I just kind of watched a bunch of videos <laughs> until like five a.m. And now it's almost eight a.m. and I am dead. I'm having breakfast right now, and I was supposed to work out, but to be honest, I actually organized my room, and I'm trying so hard to be productive, but not working so i'm actually requesting um extensions because i am not well enough to do stuff so so let me just show you this is what we have for breakfast plus what the hell is this i don't know i don't know why they consider this to be breakfast but then again i can't really complain can i so let's try day three Hello everyone, today is like, I think it's day 4 or day 3 of quarantine, I could actually go out today, I feel, I think, right, it's Monday, October 3rd, and, but, like, I have been so tired all the time, I mean, I'm kind of used to the, to the time zone right now, like, I'm still a bit jet lagged, I, I went to bed at 10, but then I woke up at 4.30, <laughs> And then I found out that the sun rises at 5.30 and not a lot of people know that, but I do. And kind of organized my room, I think yesterday, but it's also a bit messy right now. If you see me wearing the same outfit, like in every video, it's not that it's I've recorded in the same day, I'm literally wearing the same outfit every day. Quarantine, everyone quarantine, quarantine. Uh, room, so it's quite... I've washed underwear and all of that, kind of a bit messy, but anyway. And so I just kind of want to talk about Brazilian elections. I've never voted before, and I was going to vote here in Taiwan, but I'm in quarantine and I couldn't leave, so I don't know what's going to happen. And I don't know, it's just so stressful. Because it's like, honestly, it's like the election of the decade, of the century. What is going on in my country? I have no idea. And, and it's so interesting because I am in the other side of the world. So I've got... A couple of assignment extensions because I was not feeling well. I had my psych my psychologist had to write a note to Minerva saying that I need extensions, but I was able to complete most of my makeup work. I am really, really tired and I can barely work, but I am trying my best. Well, let's see what's gonna happen, honestly. I don't know. Like, I'm not feeling well. I don't know if it's quarantine or if it's just me. Like, it's not COVID. It's more like a psychological thing. I'm not well emotionally, uh, but you have to keep working no matter what. So yeah, I'm gonna work that's all we do every day uh but i'm feeling better i mean i don't know i'm feeling better but i'm feeling worse it really depends what you're talking about i'm not really excited to study but let's go and work this is what i have for lunch today i am not sure exactly what this is this i have no idea as well but it smells good it seems very edible and i'm very picky with food that's why i'm saying this but uh let's see if it's good so i've drank so much water and I only have enough water for today and then for tomorrow. But here's the thing. In this hotel that I'm staying at a lot, you have to pay for the water, which I think it's just like, I mean, man. So I'm just kind of debating if I should go outside and buy water or should, if I should just ask the hotel for water and then pay it later. I mean, I'm gonna pay anyways, but I don't understand Taiwan. Like why do I have to pay for water? Day four. Hi everyone. I am back doing my work study. I am like a hundred hours behind. I'm not even exaggerating because according to US laws, like if you're not on campus, if you're not studying, you're not supposed to have work study. And because I arrived like a month late, I was not able to work. So I was only able to work on September, like the day I arrived in, in Taipei. I am just so behind because I couldn't work for a month, right? And I am an admissions processor. This is my work study. I am just trying to catch up on everything. I've done 2.5 hours of work now. It's gonna be three because I'm watching the recordings and stuff. And honestly, honestly, I feel like I'm so effed up. That's the thing, cause like you don't have much money, right? Like I have a scholarship and I have work study. And basically I just kinda like the money I use, I pay for food and stuff comes from my work study, right? So if I don't work, I don't have money. If I don't want, I don't have money. I don't eat. So it's very like, well, I should just work on this. And I wish I could show um, on my YouTube what I'm doing, but I can't because it's confidential. I am an admissions processor, and so I can't really say anything. Like it's very confidential and stuff. You know, 
I promise you it's not that exciting. This is what we have for breakfast today. And to be honest, I'm not much excited for this because I am Western and my breakfast, I mean, it's not usually rice and stuff. Uh, there's a huge mushroom and I hate mushrooms. And so I don't know what I'm going to eat. So, people. Just got out of class. And I've just realized that I've done all of my makeup work wrong. And I have to do all of them again. Yay! I don't want to do more than like 10 makeup work all again. One, hi. I don't know if you can see, but it's raining a lot. And today was the day I was going to go out to buy water, but I don't have an umbrella. So I kind of decided not to go out today, or at least not for now, until it stops raining because I don't want to get sick. Exciting. Eventually. Hello. <laughs> so, what is this? Can you explain? Basically, a kind of caramel macchiato, a large one here mm -hmm. in Taiwan. I don't know, it's like in the surface. But I don't know, like but it's so pretty. Caramel. That is everything. It is, it is so. Do you wanna try it first? Hmm? Do you wanna try it first? Can I try it now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love popular. Mm. Good. Come in, tell me that you. But if you get to the house, you don't The next. Everyone, good morning. Now it's 8 a.m. And today is it's gonna be like the last night here at the hotel in quarantine and I went out um, Yesterday and the day before yesterday and it was quite interesting it feels weird to be cuz like some Somehow I feel like I'm in South Korea and I look so tired But I literally just woke up and I am so tired and I still need to work work on my assignments But my room is a mess and I've just realized my computer battery is <sighs> This thing, I don't know what's happening. I have to go to an Apple store. Messy room. But I will go out tomorrow morning at 10. Go to my rest hall for the first time. Yay. <laughs> 